Unless, again, unless he's superhuman, that has to take something out of him. It wasn't that long ago that he was 186. Well, and yet, Becky Duff, his manager, insists he's in the best condition ever and indeed says that he was not in the best of condition for the Hagler fight. We'll find out. Wayne Thomas, 25 years of age from Detroit. And I think we're going to find out very, very early in this fight. I think one of the keys is going to be Thomas's ability to take the first couple of punches that uh, John McGovey hits him with. McGovey, 26 years of age. Silver medalist in the 1980 Olympics. A lot of people didn't know that or don't remember that fact. A fine amateur on the same team as Cornelius Boza Edwards from Uganda. Lost to that tough Cuban Aldama, and a lot of people thought he won the fight. He can rip him. Again, when he misses, it's going to be up to Dwayne Thomas and nail him with a counter punch. Uh, that to get, gain the Mugabe's respect. Otherwise, Mugabe will wing all night. You have to watch Dwayne Thomas. When he blocks or when he slips, let's see if he counters. Wide right hand, and Thomas tried to punch right back. After he is Carlos Padilla, he will not score. Three judges at ringside will do it. Spider Bynum from Dallas, Miguel Donate from Puerto Rico, and Jerry Roth from Las Vegas. Tim, John McGavi is a trainer's nightmare. He has so much punching ability, so much natural ability, but he makes so many basic errors. When he jabs, he drops his right hand down and turns his rear end. When he hooks, he does it. When he throws the right hand, he drops his left hand. He is wide open to count the punches, and I'm sure that any good trainer is certainly aware of that. Well, speaking of trainers, uh, he has a new one now, Jimmy Williams, replacing uh, George Francis, who uh, returned to England, and Jimmy Williams goes back a little ways in the boxing wars. Well, Tim, again, uh, he had 26 straight knockouts. He lost one fight, and, and, and he changed trainers. I don't think that's such a good idea. I think you will find, however, that as usual, it will be Mickey Duff who does most of the vocalizing between rounds. 30 seconds remain in round number one. Remember, this is a 12 Good right hand by Wayne Thomas. Beautiful right hand, Tim. John McGovey looks twice the size of Wayne Thomas physically from the waist up. Look at that back on McGovey. Coming to the end of round number one. Gabby and White, Thomas and Gold. Fairly uneventful first round, and let's take this opportunity to go to our Michael Buffer visiting with Thomas Hearns. All right, I'm here at ringside with a very uh, interested spectator. As a matter of fact, Thomas and Mugabe are fighting for his vacated title at 154 pounds. What's in the future for Thomas Hearns? Well, as of right now, we are uh, getting ready to go to the light heavyweight division, which we have a fight coming up February the 7th against Dennis Andrews, light heavyweight champion. Well, you heard it right here. Up to the light heavyweight division, past the middleweights for Thomas the Hitman Hearns from Detroit. All right, Michael, and it'll be interesting. Uh, everything Tommy does in boxing has been interesting. He's had a tremendously colorful career. He'll always be remembered, unfortunately, for his two losses because they were dramatic fights. They were dramatic events against Sugar Ray Leonard and against Marvin Hagler. His dream, four world titles. He's had two. He's going up to light heavyweight. And then we'll hope to get back against Hagler at middleweight. This is round two scheduled for 12. 154 pounds the limit here. John Mugabe and White. He's rated number one in the world and number two ranked Wayne Thomas from Detroit. Mugabe throws punches at him from all angles. I mean, he has very, very fast hands and a lot of snap on his punches. But he, he looks like he's off balance at times. You don't think he can hurt you with a punch, but he can knock you cold with it. Again, Mugabe threw a wide right hand, left himself wide open, but Dwayne Thomas did not count the punch or try to take advantage of it. 
fighting a very patient fight. Tim. He threw it from down around his rear end and it landed. That's unbelievable. There's Wayne Thomas and he has felt the sting of the beast. Well, that may be good, Tim. Sometimes, you know, uh, if you feel the other guy's punching foul and you're still there, a lot of times he can give you a lot of confidence and take some of the confidence away from the other guy. I'm sure McGavi has hit guys with that punch and they've gone and taken Tim. And here's Thomas still there, still punching back. Looking good, Wayne. Hang a bit. that he trained for in the gym. In the gym, he was going to stay inside, throw short punches, beat Mugabe to the punch. Oh, left right hook. on the point of the chin. Good left hook by Mugabe. But again, Thomas is staying right out where Mugabe wants him. That cut the lip of Thomas. You can see his tongue working that over, and like Jimmy Paul, his partner from the front kind of thing that could be a distraction. There's an example of intimidation. Mugabe just stumbled in, was wide open, and Thomas still did not blow up on being intimidated by Mugabe. There's a solid lift. Down goes Mugabe. A left right to the throat.
Dr. Romeo in examining John Bogabi now. We will try and determine whether he got poked in the eye. But hopefully the replays will show those initial punches. And I believe the first big left hit him in the throat. Mickey Dub was complaining that John Mugabe got thumped in the eye. They had a big problem at the rules meeting. They were going to use. They were going to use. I shot the wall. I shot the wall. Thomas, he couldn't be happier. Now, now let's see what happened. Let's try to see the punch. There it was. It looked like it hit him right in the left eye. Look, it looked like it was a left hook in the left eye. And then once he's hurt. He just covers up, turns his back. Once you turn your back, the fight should be over. And yes, he's, he's grabbing that eye. It looks like his eye is bothering him. Now, Mickey Dove was complaining. Let's take another look at it. Let's see where the punch landed. Again, it looks like he hit him in the left eye. Now, they were at the rules meeting, they had a big problem about the gloves. They wanted to use gloves that had a tab to hold the thumb in so that the fighter couldn't get thumbed. And guess who objected? Mickey Duff, the manager of Mugabe, said his fighter did not train with gloves hey, that had a tab. He did not want He did not want the tab. And there's Dwayne Thomas with his young son. Can you imagine the champion of the world with his son on his shoulders? And now let's go to Chuck Cole for the ring announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Carlos Padilla stops the bout. At 56 seconds of the third round, the winner and new WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Dwayne Thomas. <laughs>